No, it's not. Oh. Yeah, it is. Speaking of cheesy, it's time to talk about passengers. What a link. <laughs> what a link that was. <laughs> um, it's hard to know where to begin. Because we have just seen it. Uh, yeah, ju- literally just like half an hour ago as we record. Half an hour ago. Yeah. <sighs> right, right. Um, we've got a clip, but Ryan, you can sort of say what it's about first, and then we'll get to it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, in passengers, I mean, th- there was a lot of, uh, made about this. Obviously, it, when it came, when it was announced, there was a lot of uh, sequels being announced. Marvel just announced their new phases, and it was like, oh look, you know, a brand new of original sci-fi adventure, original big budget, sci-fi. big budget, two massive stars. This could be, you know, a massive thing for major blockbuster cinema. And well, now we finally have and it. It was a script. It was a script on the blacklist, wasn't it? Yeah. In, it was. Uh, it was unproduced for a while. I believe it was meant to be Keanu. Reeves and someone else. It was supposed to be a far smaller production than, yeah. than what it has turned Might out to be. Might have been Rachel McAdams. I don't know. It was Keanu Reeves and someone else. Uh-huh. But uh, and now instead, it's Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt because they're so hot right now. Huge. Yay, they're so hot right now. And if you don't know what it is, uh, it's about a starship called the uh, Avalon, Avalon, and it is on a, a ship t- uh, is on a mission to a new planet where they will where a new colonization planet. However, Chris Pratt's character wakes up far too early, and he finally finds out this fate when he goes to the observatory and is told by the space computer there just how grim his fate really is. Welcome to the observatory. What can I show you? We're supposed to land soon. I'm the only one awake. I don't understand. What can I show you? Show me Homestead 2. Homestead 2 is the fourth planet in the Bhakti system. Right. And where are we? We're in transit from Earth to Homestead 2. We will arrive in approximately 90 years. What? We arrive at Homestead 2 in 90 years, three weeks, and one day. No. Wait. How long ago did we leave Earth? Approximately 30 years ago. I woke up too soon. So he found he's found out there that he has woke up ninety years too early. So oh, that's no. just a bit of a slight inconvenience. But oh, he's Chris yeah. Pratt, so I'm sure it's all fine, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really? he'll just look him look in the mirror it's and go, good. "Look at my look yeah. at my look how look how fit and I got. Uh, look yeah, how, um, look how good I got. Yeah. See, I'm 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 struggling here because we know that Jennifer Lawrence wakes up, but can can, can I see? No, no, no. no oh, right, well, because okay. it kind of see. I'm uh, nah. I, I would, I would, I would be, I would be adamant for no if it was actually any good. But since it's not, uh, and it is actually, actually part, you know what? I since, since it's part of the plot, because yeah. right, yeah. Okay, spoiler, spoiler warning. Okay, spoiler uh, warning. If you don't want to know much about the film, then do something yeah, else. Uh-huh. But if you literally want to hear what the plot of the film actually yeah. is, then stay tuned. Yeah. So. Uh, he wakes up Jennifer Lawrence purposefully because he's been alone for over a year uh-huh. and he's very lonely. He's going to beard, he's going full castaway style, he's going nuts. Uh-huh. And he wakes her up purposefully and that's just a bit Because he's an strange. engineer, he, he manages to like sort of hack yeah, the figure pod. Out the figure out the pod and wake it up. Yeah. And uh, it's a bit creepy, really, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> yeah. But, so the, the thing in the trailer about, and, and the poster as well, I just noticed, there's a reason why they woke up. There's a reason why she woke up, because he woke her up. Yeah. And he woke up because he's pod broke, but there's no specific reason as to why they both woke up. Other than yeah. true love. Other than him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So so there's that. Yeah. that, that that's, part, that's, that's the first thing. Yeah, but, 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 uh, wait, okay. So the first twenty minutes of the film is just Chris Pratt. He's the one who actually wakes up because of the fault in the com- in the yeah. Ship. A, a, there's a meteor storm and the the ship goes to hell essentially and wakes him up. So he's awake by himself. You've had a nice little sequence of you know having a look around the ship, getting you know d- b- basic fact file yeah, stuff. Yeah, Marty Sheen as a robot. Michael Sheen, no, but Michael um, Sheen, yeah, I don't know. Why I've called him Marty Sheen. Know. That's twice today. I've called him Marty Sheen. Yeah. I don't know but, why. Um, <laughs> And then you spend 20 minutes, I timed it, it was exactly 20 minutes, with Chris Pratt on his own and Michael Sheen as a robot, so not really like sort of another person. But it's it's like the Martian, I, th- I thought like that was kind of his Martian, except without the sort of clever, funny lines that Matt Damon got given and the sort of same delivery. Because I'm still not convinced by Chris Pratt. We've, we were saying before that since he got ripped and does anything other than Guardians, which he is quite funny in, but he's just... It's it, it's not it's not the same, is it? I think he's got it in him. He's just been he's just being told what he needs to do. Really, I think for passengers, he's clearly been brought on as the hunky male lead, yeah. mm-hmm. and he's been told play it this way because you are the male fantasy. You are the 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 perfect male to a lot of the female audience. But the problem and the problem Jennifer is Jennifer Lawrence is the flip side of that. 
exactly. But what the problem with this film is what they've done in the first 20 minutes is make a decision that totally you, you see his character through different eyes as a whole thing. I don't I don't I don't know if we're supposed to feel sorry for him because he's been stuck there for a year, but you know the way it frames him doesn't make him look like the the nicest yeah. It seems like a really selfish decision because it kind of is. But it doesn't really make much attempt to explain or explain like, yeah. or, or sympathize with him. It just yeah. make it just makes him look like he's done something very unsavory because out of selfishness. That's my high dilemma for the film, I think, because like I, do, I think do, it do, does do, go to strengths. Do you right? do you think it presents itself as a dilemma? Do do you think that the film <laughs> yeah, because... the film thinks that what it is doing is causing the first moral question of the film? Because for me it's not a question. I, I think it, it's the it, fact it's, that he's, it's just some kind of bizarre decision. The on, film on goes the film to such part. lengths to show his to show his isolation. I think that 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 is. I think the film is extremely strong up until a point because it does it does show you that isolation and it, it makes a point. I mean, he li he's literally a, a, a decision away from suicide mm -hmm. at one point, and I think it, it goes to this this desperation and by chance he stumbles across Jennifer Lawrence asleep in her pod. That's and weird. it is that, that, an inherently selfish decision, but it goes to the well. sense. That he is, you know, he's being driven to. The, it's not just purely selfish. It's no, driven no, out no, of no. desperation for human contact. I mean, he literally caresses the spacesuit shortly before he misses out. Misses. Uh, he's shortly before he spots Jennifer Lawrence. Sorry. But I, so I mean, it, I I mean know, it's I mean, creepy. But you you do see that the, the conflict. Yeah, you see it, but you don't. Really, like, you don't really feel it, do you? No, I don't no. know. I, think, yeah. I didn't feel that. I'll just but, like, because of the the way that's portrayed in time, it just feels like it's kind of yeah. just yeah. It just feels like oh. But that does get she, to she a looks, point. She looks, she looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> he learns everything about her and say it's still not still not right. Still not cool. No. <laughs> so there's that. That's yeah. weird enough. So. I mean, you you say it's fine up to a point. I think I know I know what you're going to say, but for me, the point was far sooner than what you're going to say. I think as soon as Jennifer Lawrence comes into the equation, because you've had your bit with Chris Pratt doing Matt Damon, and you know, it proves that he can command the screen on his own. It proves that he's a good enough leading man to hold a film on his own. I would I would probably prefer to if it, if if he was. Was, you, you can't do the Martian again, but if it was just him and the entire spaceship, that's, that's better than what happens after that because Jennifer Lawrence comes in and you just feel the air in the film just go, oh, here we go, it's, it really is Titanic in space. As has been, we'll, we'll get to that as well actually, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the claim it's Titanic in space. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I, see, I, see, my um, point of the film when I gave up was, uh, as you see, it was, it was a bit later on, it was when, when Jennifer Lawrence finally finds out by... Michael Sheen that Chris Pratt woke him up early woke her up early and it, was, it was always going to happen I think yeah it? I think up until that point I was really sold on, on sort of the tragedy and think I think it's a really well designed film I, I, mm -hmm. I really like the production design of it. I like the look of it I think the soundtrack's really strong but I think I think I like their relationship I think, I think they do work together but I think it's after that point the film just goes off a, a big cliff a big 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 cliff and it sort of never recovers from that because no. it turns into a very very different film and I know Joe said this on the way down that it should have been a totally different genre really yeah, yeah go on then Joe I, I, what, I just think it could have Joe passengers, passengers been? it could have done with like I wouldn't say well maybe like a psychological thriller probably some some type of different genre piece because the romance just throughout the film didn't work it at all work, like, it, it? it didn't I didn't like uh, I, I don't know if it's like their like their chemistry which didn't work or the way like the the story goes or like how it just like you just don't feel the time that's the thing that's no. killing it you don't feel you only really realise it's been you, a year because somebody says oh my god eight years yeah I've realised that throughout the film you see it but you don't you don't mm. feel it you don't feel that longevity you don't you know what I mean that's why it just doesn't work it could have worked but it just I suppose it's the way it's cut together or the way it's still, like just stuff just happens the impression I got from watching Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence was that it was Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence in a star vehicle designed to catapult them into success in a big budget film like this. A lot has been made of the fact that Jennifer Lawrence has been paid a lot for this. I imagine Chris Pratt also paid quite a lot of money. Uh, I am, and I think that's where the money went. I think looking at the film, they've definitely paid more for them than the... I mean, the production design is fine. I think this, 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 this it's just not very immersive. It felt very, very shallow and very, yeah. very flat. I think I just like the design of it, really. Like, it's the it's design, a very uh, 2001 evocative stuff. The design, fine, to to a point, but I think it's... I mean, it, the, the fact it evokes 2001 is clearly on their part to try and make oh, it yeah, look course, better. But to, to, that's to, not to, a bad thing. To paper over the, the cracks with the story and the, the chemistry, because I don't think there was much. Uh, they're not given a lot of time as a couple together because of various 
things that happen. We, we, I suppose we'll get to this as well. Yep. The, the the reconciliations and the actual nature of the romance. Mm. Is there any romance? Or was it just because they Stockholm. were the only two people on the ship? Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome. That's all, that's the vibe I was kind of getting during the end. Um, I think from for most of it. You, for most of it, you can't... Yes, get, the way mm-hmm. Chris Pratt sort of mm-hmm. lures her into this world and then sort of steps away from her for a bit while she kind of gets her space, as he puts it. But yeah, it, that- it, it, it always feels like a very... I don't know. It, it, it always feels like he gets more out of it than mm. anybody else. Yeah. It's just strange, isn't it's, it? It's unusual. That's, it's what, icky. That's, that's what I mean. It should have done. It could have done with a different genre. Like the, the romantic angle doesn't work at all. I think it's just the fact that it, it for, it's going for that for that romance, and I think it plays itself quite well until that point. That said, it drops off. But after that, it's, it's just it's the switch. I mean, events happen and things go down all after she discovers that he woke her up, mm-hmm. and it just it, it's such a it she turns on a penny so fast emotionally, and they set her character to be like so oh you know she's so lonely and you know that oh. that's fine, but. W- uh, she, she, it makes her character so dependent on Chris Pratt, yeah. and not not him dependent on her anymore. After it's not a two way relationship anymore. No. I think it it, it 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 drags the film down because another person wakes up, and you'll have seen him in the promotion trailer. I won't spoil it in case you haven't seen it, but stuff happens uh, things go down it's all very very odd but it, none of it pulls together in a satisfying way it all is just like right th- this film's completely veered from what I thought it was going to be mm-hmm. and now I'm I've just totally lost interest like it's a real problem I, I, did, I did fall asleep yeah and I, was, I, I was losing I, interest yeah, never fast sign, is it? faster I, I than did, the F and the yeah, ship I was keeping myself awake and but yeah the, once I that character gets introduced and the thing yeah. happens which I, I I still don't fully understand no. because I missed it and just kind of <laughs> I think you didn't miss the end and, and yeah it's one of them films that tries to baffle you with science to make you pretend you're having a good time I found that it just sort of throws lots of technical terms and technical jargon which according there wasn't even that are, many like it's it, just it's just the way I don't know but uh, back on to Jennifer Lawrence if you if you don't mind after a role as strong as Katniss for so many years and a, and a role as strong as Joy last year this feels like a massive backward step. Yeah. This this feels like some kind of star vehicle. Jennifer Lawrence crying the movie. Yeah. yeah, it's not a great look. No, no, it's, no. it's not. It's it's no. she's she's better than that. I think she's way better than that. I think yeah. they, they both are. Uh, I think the film definitely thinks it is better than it is. I think. I mean, the amount of money involved, the stars have got on board. They clearly thought this was going to be something. Great. I mean, it is it is just a star vehicle, isn't it? Like you say, I mean, uh-huh. the poster is nothing nothing more than just two big, so hot right now faces front and center on the poster. That's it. That's well, all th- it is. Th- this script's been around for a long time. It was, as I've said, supposed to be a, a far smaller production. Then Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence got on board. A lot more money got pumped into it. Morton Tilden got on board. Yeah, see, well, what happened with that? Like, uh, the script was supposedly oh, it's one of like most. Well, this original is what I'm going to say. This the what script the, hell? the script was leaked as part of the Sony leaks. Um, you can almost hear at the start of the film when the Sony logo goes bling, you can hear them going, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I don't know, I, I, I feel like they, I mean, the, the fact it's up in the same time as Star Wars either means they were very confident or they're trying to bury it. I, now that I've seen it, would say that it's it's definitely going to be better as a, a bury job rather than anything that would compete. Yeah. People will probably go to see it because they, they've sold it well enough. Yeah. But I think most will be disappointed. It has been... Well, I mean, Little White Lies, their review makes a very strong point of the fact that it's Titanic in space. Do you agree? Because I would say that I do, except that Titanic was braver in its ending. It is. Like, I mean, the, when the ending comes, and I thought it was going to stick the land, and I thought the film might have improved at that point, because, you know, it could have been brave, but it, it doesn't. It, it really doesn't. It goes for the safe option, and that just really sums up what the I, film is at the end. It's, it's safe. I think they ran out of money for an ending, to be, yeah. to be honest. I, I feel like mm. there probably was something there, yeah. and... Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt yeah. probably took most of the money and then, you know, some CG and then Lawrence it's Fishburne. And then by the time you get to the end, it's like, oh, we've kind of run out of money. We'll, hence, just, we'll, just, we'll just wrap yeah. it up really quickly and, you know. Hence the, hence the narration. Yeah. yeah. It's quite a shame, to be honest, because, like, I, I really liked Morton Tilden's last film. Imitation game, yeah. yeah. Had a really nice soundtrack and a really nice lead performance. But this is just none of those. And it's one final point. I thought more would have been made of this. I think maybe it probably was, and it's probably been edited to death, like most of these blockbuster films are. Yeah. The class divide that is set up uh, in a in a scene towards the start when they meet each other, the fact that he is a mechanic and he can only afford a large coffee and she can afford a large breakfast, a gold class breakfast. The fact that he's called Jim, she's called Aurora. Yeah. 
and it's not mentioned after that. I'm curious as to, to if, be fair, actually they do. If, I mean, there's, no, 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 like, not there's, there's that conversation when they when they when they fall in love, where it's like we in a, in in the real world we should never fall in love with each other. Because oh yeah, there's two that, separate that worlds. Line. So they don't really they don't really drop it. It's just sort of not as explored as fully as they should have. No, really. Like there I should have been if, a lot more. To it. If they had though, there, there would be no question of it being Titanic in space yeah, because uh, that's literally. Yeah, that, and, that's and also literally. he got his tickets. By calling in some favours, just like Jack in Titanic. Yeah. Uh, but Titanic's actually better than this. But um, s- thankfully, this is shorter by at least an hour and a half, I think. Yeah. So that at least there's that. Um, merciful, merciful bricks. That's Passengers. Is it a recommend? Is that a silly question? No. Uh, instead, spend two hours of your time watching Passengers on a bus. Yeah, get the 56. There'll probably be a more enticing yeah, more love fun. story on there. Uh, Let's hope not. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> not a recommend. Do not a recommend? No. Nah. No, no, no. Is that no. the easiest one in a while? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Why would you even go see this when Star Wars is out? Man? Come on. <laughs> we'll get the Star Wars. We will get the Star Wars. Um, no, I'm not going to recommend it either. I thought. Sadly. And it's a shame. With a heavy heart. Because once again, it's another film that you kind of think, this might be okay. Mm-hmm. This yeah. is like, this This is one of the last films that could sort of break the list of like best of the year. But no. I remember covering my eyes when I saw the trailer for the first time, so I didn't spoil it. I wish I had. Yep. You wish you'd blocked your ears and oh, yes. covered so your eyes and just... left the room and yeah, not just seen just it at all. Quit this and move to Japan and become a monk or something. Not